My name is Divideep Kaur. I'm a handwriting expert, a life coach and a healer. And I have got this privilege to analyze 10,000 handwriting samples from the last 15, 16 years. And this is what my passion is. Well, so I have researched so much about handwriting. I have come across a lot of people who have this biggest myths about handwriting, which I'm going to reveal today. What are the myths that you are holding on with respect to your handwriting? Let us understand that. So the first myth that people are carrying about handwriting is there is still, they think that there is something called good handwriting and bad handwriting. Yes, do you know this? Since childhood, we have been trained in a way that, okay, you have bad handwriting. You know, your friend has good handwriting. Well, there is no terminology called as good handwriting or bad handwriting in graphology. So what does graphology or handwriting analysis mean? That means looking into your handwriting, a handwriting analyst or a trained graphologist can tell you about your personality and your subconscious mind. Yes. So, and the basic purpose of handwriting is to communicate. So the real terms are legible handwriting and illegible handwriting. So when you're able to read what is written on the paper, it is very much a legible handwriting. But when you're not able to read what is written on the paper, then it is a matter of concern. Then it is called illegible handwriting. Yes, this is the first myth. The second myth, people think, because I know I get a lot of queries when people come to me and say, Tevedeep, can you tell me about my future? Can you tell me whether I will get the visa or not? Can you tell me in what year will I get married? Well, to all the graphologists who claim that they can tell you about your future, they can predict your future, please, that's a red alert. Just know that that graphologist is not genuine because handwriting analysis as a study has certain limitation. It can definitely tell you 90, with 98% accuracy about your personality, about your subconscious mind. How are you dealing with, with problems? What is your emotional intensity? What are your fears? All that, right? But when you talk about future prediction, that is not possible. So that is the second myth. Let's talk about third myth. You know, if I ask this question, how many of you have copied your parents' signature you will be like, yeah, we have done that. Most of you or most of us have done. Well, we did that with the thought that any signature or handwriting can be copied. Yes, but in reality, that is not the case. Your handwriting is as unique as your fingerprint. That means whatever you write, it belongs to you. It is your unique handwriting and nobody can forge your handwriting. Even if I deliberately want to copy your handwriting or your style of writing, when I lose it, when I lose my conscious attempt, automatically I will go back to my original style of writing. And this is what research says. So from now on, just, you know, cherish the handwriting, the uniqueness in your handwriting. So this is the third myth that, you know, your handwriting can be copied or forged, which is not the case. Let's talk about the fourth myth about handwriting you know people are generally formally trained to write in a certain way but know that that is not the scientific way of writing so what does that call the scientific way of writing well the term is called graphotherapy now what is graphotherapy graphotherapy is a beautiful process where when you consciously change your handwriting and practice it consistently for for some time you will see amazing changes in your personality in your behavior in your mindset yes this is very very powerful and many people think that you know by changing handwriting you know personality cannot be changed well this is possible the term is called graphotherapy and the last myth that i want to tell you is you know people talk about signature people complicate their signature they make their signature so complicated that they cannot it cannot be forced or it appears that you know, it's very tough signature well that is also biggest myth because when you're doing that knowingly unknowingly you are complicating your post personality and i'm very sure you do not want this for yourself yes so from if you're making such mistake i would advise and recommend Please change your signature. 
make it simple but powerful make it a healthy signature you can uh, you can go to my other video where i have explained in detail how you can make a powerful healthy signature yes so these were the five myths about handwriting which i'm sure no teacher no trainer would have come and told you but yes you should know about it if you are writing every day and yes before going i have this to i have to say this start writing embrace your handwriting all right for more such videos subscribe to my youtube channel thank you so much